Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I want to compare three great tools to create a documentation website by simply just using markdown files. I'm going to cover all the things that you need to know, so I'm going to show you what you're going to get if you use one of these tools, which are their features, how simple or how difficult is actually to deploy your documentation website once you're done with it, and also what's the pricing of this tool. So the first tool is Gitbook. The second tool that I'm going to talk about is Retype. And finally, we have Docosaurus. So here I'm actually accessing their main landing pages of their documentation website. And I'm actually showing you these pages because this is what you're going to get if you're actually going to create a documentation website using either of these tools. One very important thing to mention is that you can build your documentation website using both these three tools by simply just using markdown files. This I think is a great benefit of these tools because you just have to write a few markdown files and then eventually you're going to be able to create content inside your website. So you don't need to learn HTML, React, JavaScript, or CSS. You can just simply write a markdown file and then you're going to be able to deploy your website in almost no time. Both these three tools are static websites. What do I mean with that? They don't need basically a server to run in the background. So we don't need a database to run in the background. And this is a great benefit because we can run these tools either on GitHub pages or on a static website host website like Netlify. So we can have our website running for free online in almost no time. So we don't have to pay anything to host our website. On the other hand, if you decide to use a frameworks which requires a backend, then unfortunately you will need to pay for a service or a server or a cloud computer that hosts your website and then you will be charged a monthly fee just to have your website running. Here on the other end, we can just have our website running for free online and we don't have to worry about that. GitHub Pages or uh, Netlify will take care of everything and also it's going to be super quick for your user to access your website. So your website will load in no time. Please note that I have already released videos on how to get started with all these three tools on YouTube. So the first tool that I want to talk about is Gitbook. As you can see here on the left side, we have a navigation bar that we can use to navigate through our content of the website. At the top here, we also have a top bar where we can put some links to other pages. We have a search a button here enabled by default which i think is great so we can look for content inside our website and then here from the right menu here we can navigate through the content of our page retype has a very similar layout so let me go to the welcome page here as you can see the page basically loads in no time and again we have a navigation bar here on the left side here at the top, we have also a navigation with some links. We can toggle between light and dark mode. And then again, we have search enabled by default. So we can look for content inside our website. And then also we can navigate through the content of our website by just clicking here on one of these buttons on the right side of our page. Then we can scroll down and we can see all the content of our page. Docosaurus is very similar in the documentation section, but also offers you an additional thing. So in Docosaurus, you can also have a landing page. You don't need to have a landing page. However, if you want to have one, you can also have one. And as you can see here, we have a landing page which was built using React. I'm going to show you a couple of more examples of Docosaurus. So this is another website built with Docosaurus. And as you can see, you can have a very beautiful landing page and then you can have the documentation section and same as the Jest website. This was also built using Docosaurus. We have a landing page and then we can access the documentation. I think this is great because if you want to have a nicer website, which is not just 
hard documentation website, well, I think then eventually you should consider using Docosaurus because it is the only one that offers these features. Another very important thing that you need to take into consideration before you choose one of these three frameworks or tool is pricing. So everyone has different pricing. So Gitbook, actually, you have to pay if you want to collaborate with Teams. So Gitbook is the only tool among these three that gives you a very nice uh, online space which you, where you can collaborate with other team members. That I think is great and I can show you here. So this is my team library. So I can access the Thermal Comfort Tool documentation website and then people here can collaborate on this documentation in real time and can suggest changes. So your team member don't need to know neither how to write Markdown nor have to worry about deploying the website or stuff like that. The downside, however, is that in order to be able to collaborate with team members with Gitbook, you have to pay. And the price is, at the current moment when I was recording the video, which is April 2022, is $6.40 per user per month. So, of course, you need to take into consideration that because if you have a large team, it's going to become quite pricey to get started and to use uh, Gitbook. If, on the other hand, you just use Gitbook for yourself, it's going to be free forever for individual use and it's going to give you 10 public and 10 or and private spaces. Okay, and you can also customize the domain. So Gitbook is great if you're working alone, if you don't know how to code, because you can use their online interface to change the documentation website and then eventually you don't even have to worry about uh, markdown files. On the other hand, please keep in mind that if you're collaborating with a large team, then the price uh, is going to be quite high just to have your documentation website with Gitbook. One alternative to, to have best of both worlds uh, is to get the community plan that they offer, which is for free and open source project. So as I showed you before, here we have an open source project, which is public. So we requested Gitbook to have access to their community um, plan and then they grant it to us. So you just have to do a request and then they check all your website. And if you are a non-profit organization, which has an open source project, you can also use their community plan. So if that's the case, I think Gitbook is actually a great tool. Retype is freemium. So it's not 100% free, okay? But with the free plan, basically you can do a lot of things. So you can get started with Retype in almost no type. You don't have to sign up or anything or pay anything. You only have to pay if your website has more than 100 pages or if you want to remove this message here at the bottom, which says power by retype. If this message here at the bottom does not bother you and if your website has less than 100 pages, then retype, I think, is a fantastic tool because it's super simple to get started and I have a video on how to get started or retype. So please check my video if you want to find out more. And then eventually you don't have to pay anything. It is explained very well how to deploy your website. And also in my video, I show how to do that. So I show you how to deploy your website on Netlify. Finally, we have Docosaurus. Docosaurus is an open source project. So you don't have to pay anything if you want to use Docosaurus. But also Docosaurus gives you a very nice landing page. What is the downside? Because uh, now it sounds that Docosaurus is the clear winner among the three tools. Unfortunately, Docosaurus is the one that uh, is a little bit more difficult to get started and deploy. They have an amazing documentation which you can consult. And I also have several videos on YouTube in which I explain how to use Docosaurus. So there is plenty of material for you to get started. However, keep in mind that it's going to take you a little bit more time to maintain your website and to deploy it if compared with the other two tools. 
With Gitbook, you just have to name your uh, project, and then in no time, you have deployed your website. With retype, you just have to write one command in the command line, and then eventually you can deploy your website. With Docusaurus, on the other end, you have to configure a little bit more things, and then it takes slightly longer to get started and to create a documentation website. But then you get some extra perk and some extra benefit that the two other tools do not offer. And then you don't have to pay anything if you want to use Docusaurus. So it's really up to you. If you have a free and open source project, then I would maybe suggest you to get the community version here on Gitbook because it's free for uh, those type of project. You have a very nice online interface that everyone in your team will be able to use. So for sure, you will not have any issues of people non not being able to edit your documentation website. On the other hand, if you just want to have a simple documentation website, which you want to create by just add, creating a few markdown file, and you just want to get started very quickly, and still having a website that works amazingly well, it has a search bar, a lot of features, a lot of components built with markdown, then you should use retype, because it's a great tool. Just keep in mind that your website has to be less than 100 pages if you don't want to pay. Finally, if you feel confident that you know that you can program a bit, nothing too serious. It's super simple to get started, but it, let's say it takes you 40 minutes. And then eventually it takes a little bit more to maintain the website. And unfortunately, as for retype, you don't really have a web interface. So everyone who wants to modify your website will have to look for the source file and then edit the markdown file itself. Get started with Markdown, I think is quite simple, but some people might still find it daunting. So if you're happy with these uh, things of uh, spending like, let's say, 30 minutes to configure your website and not having a web interface to edit your Markdown file, then I think you should use Docosaurus because out of the three is the one that gives you more features and is free forever because it's an open source project. As I previously mentioned, I have videos on YouTube about all the three different tools. So if you want to find out how to get started with any of these three tools, or if you want to find out more on how difficult it is to deploy a website, you just uh, can check my videos so you can get an idea how simple or how difficult it is to deploy a website with uh, these three tools. And then you can get started. And over there, you will find a lot of useful material on uh, how to set everything up. I really hope you like this video. Thank you very much for listening. If you find the, the content of this video interesting and useful, please consider liking my video and subscribing to my channel. If you want to also support my channel, you can do so by buying me a coffee or supporting me on Patreon. I would really appreciate that. Thank you very much for listening and see you in the next video.